Today's video is sponsored by Bespoke Post. Good load right there. I'm gonna drive it down to the log splitter. I'll bring you along. The buckle to me is on the wrong side, but. I don't know. I'm near the tractor business, so what do I know? Oh, I need my gloves. Okie dokie. Oh. All right. Better tuck in my scarf and uh, zip her up and put my gloves on. shows up after the work's done. So yeah, I just got home from work and on the way home I told Melissa I was gonna split a little bit of firewood and she said she would help. Well, she's already got a load here in the firewood bucket. Splitter's fired up, warming up, so we're gonna fill up one of these baskets real quick. Okay, you can feed, I'll stack. Okay.
I am sold on the baskets though. Uh, I have some more to get ready, uh, but that is the way to go. You know, it's kind of a lot of work loading them in there, but like the other day, I delivered a load over to neighbor Cliffs, just grab out the forks, done deal. We have people come to the house, lift them right in their truck. Yeah. That is the last time we will touch that wood right there. Right. So earlier I mentioned that today's video was sponsored by Bespoke Post. And what it is, it's a subscription box kind of geared towards guys. And I was not familiar with their company Good. until I saw, who did the video? Wrangler Star did a video uh, for Bespoke Post and I was pretty intrigued. And they reached out to us about a month ago and they sent us our first box. And let me show you what's in it. Okay, before we look inside the box they sent us, let's take a quick look at their website. You can join for free, you take the quiz, you tell them what you like and what you don't like, and they will find your first box. Then you can preview your box, keep it, swap it, or skip it. You're in total control. Zero commitment. Boxes cost $45, traditionally worth over $70. Then you get your box. Now, you may be asking what's inside the box. They have all types of products uh, that fit your lifestyle. Like I said, this is definitely a guy kind of thing. One of the things I like most about this is they support small business. Uh, during the COVID crisis, they purchased over $31 million worth of products from small business. All right, let's see what's in our first box. This one is the switchback. Right off the bat, it appears that this one is definitely put together for me. Let's check out this shovel here. I will put this under the back seat of the F-150 is where this will go. Uh -huh. Well, there you have it. The uh, first box from Bespoke Post is definitely a good fit for me. Nice shovel here. Like I said, I'll put that in the F-150. Nice knife, fire starter, compass, and I'm anxious to try this out. I don't know if you can see this or not. You hit that button right there, lights up, and also flash as well. That is, uh, I'm not familiar with these. I've never seen these, but it'd be great for camping or something. Pretty cool. Well, I must say I'm pleased with my first box. The products are good quality, definitely a good fit for me, and I love the idea of these subscription services. I do. To tell you the truth, I don't like leaving the house anymore, and this stuff comes right to me, which I really like. If you want more information, there will be a link in the description, and the promo code is MORGANS20. I think you can use that at checkout. So the title of today's video is what is the future of the firewood market and uh, this video is kind of geared towards the guys out there that sell firewood and what got me thinking the other day there was a post on I think it was a Facebook page there's several out there you know firewood sellers but one guy had a pretty well thought out post and he was talking about what he thinks is going to happen over the next couple years and his thinking is so many people are working from home a lot of people are out of work oh. so you have more people selling firewood and he thinks that maybe the market will get flooded uh, more sellers than buyers. I think it'll go the other way. I think there's something he was missing, at least in my opinion. You know, we primarily sell to people that recreational burns. You know, like Cliff and Jeannie, they have a fireplace over there. It's not heating their whole house. They just like to have a fire. In the summer, we have tons of people that have the yeah. outdoor, you know, fire pits. Right. And they have bonfires and things like that. Now, in the 80s and stuff, when fuel prices were real high, whenever that was, people were heating their homes around here. Everybody had a wood burner. Uh, and I think we're going to get back to that a little bit. Maybe not quite as bad, but I do think fuel prices are going to go up. Uh, I think it's inevitable. And I think you'll start to see more people using firewood to heat their homes or at least to subsidize yeah. their fuel bill. Yeah. Along with the fact that so many more people are kind of you know, they're kind of gravitating towards more rural living. You know what I mean? And uh, I think the firewood market's going to be pretty strong for several years. Now, I'm no expert on it. You know, I can't predict the future. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. But from what I'm seeing, I think uh, burning wood is going to, uh, it's actually going to increase a little bit. I do. Okay. And the key is to find a good seller. If you're looking to buy firewood, you know, make sure the wood's dry. 
and make sure you do your homework. There's a lot of good guys out there and there's some that aren't so good. But do your homework and it'll be a pleasurable experience. But it's in my opinion, and like I said, I want to hear in the comments what you have to say. I think that the market's just going to keep increasing. I do. People are staying home more. Yeah. They're like doing things on their own property. A lot of home improvement stuff are incorporating like gardens and and I always see on Facebook and different places people building nice fire rings now. I think he's right. And they're going to get geared up for the summer. I don't like and to the, admit it. Yeah, you, you. She just admitted I was right. Did you hear that? It's on I think video. He's right. Yeah, it's, I think there's going to be a focus on firewood, and this is. I think you're right. I think there's a uh, future firewooders. Yeah, and people are just chomping a bit to get back with one another and have the people come over on a Saturday night for a fire in the backyard and stuff like yeah. that. And, and I, I think this summer... But uh, you're right, there's a lot of home-centered lifestyles happening. Mm -hmm. We have been taken away from our offices and our workplaces and we've been put in our homes and that's great. So to uh, heat them, firewood. Yeah. I think you're right. Yeah, and I do think fuel prices are going to go up. I work in the industry yeah. and uh, I think it's definitely going to go up. You remember back when diesel was... Uh, oh, remember we had that Ford excursion? We had a diesel. We had a... Uh, it was over $5 a gallon. 2000 yeah 2000 ford excursion with the 7.3 power stroke fantastic engine the thing had like a 40 gallon tank i'm not exaggerating it did. one of those ones where you put your debit card in it would shut off at 75 dollars and you weren't even like at a half a tank yet no. you know because fuel was 450 and it shut off because that's all i had in my account <laughs> yeah that's why it was a prepay they're like okay you are done you're only allowed this much we sold that it was getting it needed some work but it wasn't too bad but i sold that with 212,000 miles on it and I still got 13,000 for it. People really like those Ford excursions and the 7.3 Power Stroke. That was a great yeah, engine. It was. But anyway, I think the girls are uh, headed to the gym. Alright, I'm headed to the house. We're headed to the house. Uh, I'll finish this up tomorrow night. I want to thank Bespoke Post for sponsoring today's video. Yeah, thanks. And like we always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. See ya.